Hello, and thanks for tuning in. This week's segment will uh, consist of what you can do to rid your yard of mosquitoes, ticks, and the diseases that they can bring. Today, our, our special guest is Russ Junk, one of the owners of Mosquito Squad of Minnesota, who's going to talk to us about some of the things that homeowners can do themselves and where a professional comes in. Hey Tom, thanks hey, for us. having me. Appreciate that. Today we're going to talk about our integrated pest management program in which we uh, eliminate breeding grounds in your yard for mosquitoes and as we all know mosquitoes do need water to hatch their eggs. So therefore it would make sense if we can eliminate the water sources we're going to eliminate the mosquitoes. So let's talk about that. Again part of our IPM is we talk about the five T's. Five T's being tip, toss, turnover, eliminate tarps, and treat. And tip would mean simply going through your yard, taking inventory of the toys, making sure that they're tipped over so that water's not collecting in them. Mosquitoes need really about 24 to 48 hours for those eggs to be laid and then get into the hatching program. So let's just make sure we go through the yard and tip things on a daily basis and just taking inventory of what's around. The other would be as to toss. Looking for bottle caps, something as small as a Coca-Cola bottle cap can uh, uh, collect up to 300 eggs we've learned and so we want to toss things like that toss trash anything that's going to styrofoam cups anything like that's going to uh, collect water and again become a breeding ground let's toss those types of things tip over similar to again tipping but uh, 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 and tossing but tip would be larger items the boats the canoes kayaks the wheelbarrows the trailers any larger items that we can tip over so that water does not collect in them thereby uh, becoming a breeding ground and of course then tarps we're all guilty of having tarps uh, usually behind the shed we have we're trying to uh, maybe cover up the firewood or maybe the boat or something and tarps inevitably of course if you looked outside today with all the snow uh, become big time areas of collecting water and we want to eliminate the tarps altogether because they are absolutely horrible uh, when it comes to uh, your yard and producing mosquitoes. The last would be if you went through the tip, toss, turn over and eliminate tarps, the last would be of course treating and that's where we come in as professionals. Our technicians will come out if we cannot eliminate the water source we just want to make certain that we can treat it accordingly and we use several uh, types of larval control methods that are time proven and tested and uh, work and are very very effective. Very good. But uh, is there anything that we can do for mosquitoes that maybe come in from other properties that are already adults and have already gone through the larval stage? Absolutely. So those that have already hashed, we can absolutely treat them with what we call a barrier spray program where we're, we're using adulticide or we're killing the adult mature mosquitoes and we can treat the uh, foliage areas in the yard and uh, eliminate those mosquitoes on contact, but even more so when others are coming in from neighboring properties. When they're coming in, they, top, they touch the uh, plant surfaces, they too are eliminated simply by touching our uh, adult aside or our adult um, eliminator. So what I'm hearing from you, Russ, is that uh, a effective integrated management program is really a partnership between the homeowner and the professional working together. Is that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can't do one without the other. We simply can go out and do our program, but if the if the uh, homeowner is not there to take inventory of items out in the yard that are collecting water, that becomes a problem, makes our job more difficult. Likewise, just by eliminating the water sources simply isn't going to take care of the mosquito problem in your yard. You do need the professional, you do need the technician to come in and treat those water sources and also do the barrier spray programs. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for being here today. You can find a lot more information at www.mosquitosquad.com as well as all the locations, and I'm sure we have one real near you. Thank you. Good stuff. Thanks.